I'm bringing you three budget-friendly meals using one whole chicken. You guys, my name is Rebecca with Learning Together by Grace and welcome to my channel. Alrighty, so these are the seasonings that I am using to flavor my chicken. Some smoked paprika, oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, some ground black pepper, and some pink salt. I just mixed all of that in a bowl and I seasoned my chicken really well. I put it in my crock pot on low and I cooked it for close to seven hours, you guys. And oh my goodness, this chicken turned out so juicy, tasteful. Oh, it was just the best. Can you see that? Look at all of those juices it produced. So with this first meal, I am washing up a sweet potato. And then what I will do is place it inside of some aluminum foil after I dry it off. And then I am going to put it in my pan here. Alrighty, you guys, this sweet potato is going into the oven at 375 degrees. And we are going to cook this for about an hour to an hour and a half. And then I'm going in with some frozen broccoli, you guys. And I am going to add about a half of a cup of water to my pot. And then I am going to go in with some seasonings. I have this Oh my gosh, this seasoning, you guys, I got it from Costco. It is so good. It reminds me of dressings in a, a container. It's so yummy. But I'm adding some of that to my broccoli. And then I am going to also add some pink salt just to give it a pop of flavor. And then you guys, I always like to add either butter or oil and that always makes the vegetables taste so much better. And then I cover it and I allow it to cook maybe about 15 minutes. Now I have taken the sweet potato out of the oven. My daughter's helping me here. She's opening up the sweet potato for me. And then I'm just going to mash it all up. Do you see that steam coming from that potato? You guys, this is one of my favorite ways to make sweet potatoes. And then after that, I'm going to, of course, add some butter. You can add coconut oil if you want to keep it lighter. I'm going to add some pink salt, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon if that and mix that in well. And then lastly, I am going in with my cinnamon and I'm going to add that to my sweet potato as well and then mix it all up. You guys, let me tell you, divine. You don't even need sugar. The sweetness from roasting it in the oven is what makes it taste so wonderful. And here goes our first meal. You guys, this turned out so delicious i thoroughly enjoyed this meal now for the next meal i soaked some beans overnight in water now i'm just draining them off and then i'm going to rinse them really well i like to soak my beans and help them to kind of i guess you could say sprout overnight and then i like to cook them the next day so I'm doing this in my Instant Pot. Now I could have done this in my Crock Pot, but my chicken was in there, but I did want to slow cook my beans. So my Instant Pot has a slow cook function. Now I'm adding some smoked paprika, and you guys, this is the last little bit of my smoked paprika. I gotta go buy some more, but I'm adding that to the beans. And then I'm also going to add some oregano, and I probably added about one teaspoon of smoked paprika and probably about a half of a teaspoon of that oregano. And then we're going to go in with some garlic powder. I have just a little bit left and I just used the remainder of it. So that was probably about one and a half to two teaspoons of garlic powder. I'm also going to add some onion powder here. 
And then we're gonna go in with our cracked black pepper because of course you have to add pepper, right? <laughs> One of my favorite seasonings. And then the last seasoning that I added to this pot of beans was some of my pink salt. And I just took my cap right off and I poured it right in there because this is a new salt shaker, you guys, and I'm still trying to get used to it. It doesn't pour as well as my other salt shaker. So I would say that I probably used about a teaspoon and a half of my pink Himalayan salt. And so after this, I am going to actually add in, after stirring all of this together, of course, I am going to add in some extra virgin coconut oil. It's unrefined coconut oil. I always like to, I said extra virgin, you guys, it's not extra virgin, but it is virgin organic coconut oil. So I'm doing two tablespoons of that. I like to do this to give it some fat. It makes the beans taste, I don't know, meatier if you will. Now I'm going in with three cups of water for this amount of beans. And I can't even tell you how many pounds of beans I did, maybe a pound and a half. Now after mixing that, putting my Instapot on a slow cook and I am going to cook this for eight hours and you guys they are going to come out so divine now next i am taking my chicken from the night before and i'm actually deboning it i have two containers here because one is going to be for tonight's meal and the other container is going to be for tomorrow's lunch so after deboning it i do save my bones so that i can make a bone broth one container is making these yummy yummy chicken tacos i just heated up some tortillas and i made some rice actually this was leftover rice from two nights before and i added some salsa and there we have it now for this final meal here is that deboned chicken i finally cut up some carrots onions and celery and i just added that right to the bowl and then i added about three tablespoons of mayonnaise and i mixed all of that together that chicken was seasoned very well because normally i would add some sort of seasoning to my chicken salad but because the chicken was seasoned so well i didn't need it you guys i didn't have dried cranberries which i do love but i had raisins and i was like you know what why not use raisins in this chicken salad and they did not disappoint it was so yummy so here i am just mixing everything together and there we have it, you guys. We have our yummy chicken salad. I made some homemade bread in my bread machine earlier in the day. And so I'm just slicing it up right now. And then you guys are going to see my daughter's uh, little hands coming in here and grabbing some bread. And she's going to make her sandwich while I am cutting up my bread. This is the fun thing about having children that love to eat. They come in the middle of you making things. So here she is creating her sandwich as i am finishing up cutting this yummy bread y'all the bread was very delicious i'm gonna leak a video of me making two different types of white bread in my bread machine in the description so that you can see how you can make your own bread from scratch in a bread machine here's my sandwich you guys and y'all it was so delicious ah Look at that, isn't it wonderful? Don't you wanna bite? Yes. You guys, so three meals, one whole chicken, we're eating on a budget, we are fighting this inflation and we are going to feed our families well. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you would come back for more. Like, subscribe, share, God bless.